Hello friends, welcome to your own YouTube channel Solution for All. Today I brought these 12 sketches, sketch pens for you. I want to arrange these 12 sketch pens in different orders. I want, first of all, I want to make a pair of 2 sketch pens. So 2, 2, 4, 2, 6, 2, 10, 2, 12. So how many pairs are there? One pair, two pairs, three pairs, four pairs, five pairs and six pairs. So total six pairs are there means six multiply by two, twelve. Fine. Now I am going to make a bunch of three sketch pens. So three, one, this three, two, two bunches, then three bunches, then four bunches. Means 3 multiply by 4 that is 12. Now I am going to make the bunches of 4 sketch pens. So 4, 1 bunch, then 2 bunch, then 3 bunches, total 3 bunches of 4 sketch pens. So 4 threes are 12. Now I am going to make bunches of 12 sketch pens. So total 6, 6 and 6 that is 12. So 6 twos are 12. Now I am going to make only one bunch, means one bunch of 12 sketch pens. So by this way, that is we got 2 multiply by 6 means pair, 6 pairs are there, then 12 sketch pens. Now I made the bunch of 3 sketch pens, 3 multiply by 4, 4 bunches. Now I made the bunches of four sketch pens so four multiply by three then i made bunches of six so six multiply by two that is also 12 and i made only one bunch 12 multiply by one that is 12 so all these like two three four six twelve all are the factors of 12 so today we are going to know about factors then we will know about multiples and then we will know about the relation between factors and multiples. So first of all, see what are the factors. Factors, when a number divides another number without leaving a remainder, the divisor and the quotient are the factors of the dividend. Means dividend is here 12 and when it divides by 2, 2, 6, 12. So 2 is what divisor and 6 is quotient. So 2 and 6 are the factors of 12. Fine. Now what is multiples? What are multiples? When 2 or more numbers are multiplied, their product is a multiple of each number being multiplied. That we will see. And third one, we have to find out the relation between factors and multiples. So first of all we will see factors with some more examples. Here I have taken some numbers. First number is 25. 25. So 1 multiply by 25. One possibility. Second possibility is that 5 multiply by 5. Fine. So what are the factors? Factors of 25 are 1, 5 and 25. Fine. 1, 5 and 25. Now come to 36. 36 we can write as 1 into 36, 2 into 18. Then we can write 3 into 12. We can write 4 into 9. We can write 6 into 6. Fine. So factors. Factors of 36 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6 and 9. Fine. Come to 48. We can write 1 multiply by 48. 2 multiply by 24, 
थ्री मल्टीप्लाई बाय सिक्सटीन फोर मल्टीप्लाई बाय ट्वेल्व देन सिक्स मल्टीप्लाई बाय एट सो दीज ऑल आर फैक्टर्स फैक्टर्स ऑफ फोर्टी एट आर ये थर्टी सिक्स इज नाउ दियर ट्वेल्व ऑल्सो एटीन एंड थर्टी सिक्स हियर फैक्टर्स आर वन टू थ्री फोर सिक्स एट देन ट्वेल्व देन ट्वेंटी फोर एंड देन फोर्टी एट these all are the factors of 48 fine so by this way we can find the factors got how can we find the factors we will check that particular number can be divided by which number and what that divisor and quotient are factors fine now see multiples when two or more numbers are multiplied their product is a multiple of each number being multiplied fine so if i am writing here 2 multiply by 3 is equal to 6 means 6 is this is the multiple of 3 and 6 so we can say that 6 is the multiple 6 is the multiple of 2 and 3 fine i am taking one more example like 4 multiply by 5 is equal to 20 4 multiply by 5 is equal to 20 so this 20 is the multiple of 5 20 is the multiple of 4 or multiple you can simply tell whatever you read the table of particular number that is multiple that all numbers that comes in the table of a number that all are multiples of that table like 4 5 ja 20 4 6 ja 24 4 7 ja 28 these all are the multiples of 4 fine so these all are the multiples of 4 or 6 is the multiple of here 6 is the multiple of 2 and 3 here 20 is the multiple of 4 and 5 by this way we can find the multiples fine here we will see the relation between factors and multiples i am writing one example here like 6 multiply by 9 is equal to 54 fine so here left side number these two 9 is the factor of 54 6 is the factor of 54 and in another manner 54 is the multiple of 9 54 is the multiple of multiple of 6 now see factors of a number are always less than or equal to the given number factors of a number are always less than or equal to the given number like if we write here factors of 54 we got here one then 2 3 then 6 fine then 9 then 20 7 and then 54 now check all numbers 1 2 3 6 9 27 54 54 all numbers are either less than 54 or equal to 54 so factors of a number are always less than or equal to the given number now come to multiples multiples of 6 fine multiples of 6 means you have to read the table of 
So table of 6, 6, 12, 18, then 24, 30, 36, 42. Now check. All numbers, multiples of 6 are 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, 42. All numbers are either equal to the given number 6 or more than the given number 6. So multiples of a number are always equal to the given number or more than the given number. So by this way we knew that what are factors, what are multiples and what is the relation between factors and multiples. Fine. I hope you all understood and enjoyed.